This question comes from Jamil C. She says, Hi, Crystal. My question is personal, but I also think that it's spiritual. For months, I've been submitting applications and receiving interviews without getting hired. I receive wonderful comments, etc., from the people who interview me, yet they don't hire me. I feel that my work is tied to my spiritual purpose here on earth, which I think is to help people in some way. And so I chose to do this by creating programs and services for students at higher education. But because of these hindrances I keep meeting along the way, I wonder if I should look elsewhere, particularly if my purpose is to do something else. However, I feel like a question mark. I feel directionless. I feel like I'm on the right path, but I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction. If this is so, my question is, what is my true purpose and what direction should I follow to find the job that is meant for me? I get a lot of questions, Jamil and everybody else out there, asking me to tell them what their life purpose is. And you know, before when I would give one-on-one -on -one readings and coaching and stuff, I'd, I'd really dig deep into it. I'd contact my guides and my guides would contact their guides and I'd get a lot of information and I'd write it all down. But at the end of the day, which is a phrase I, I hate to use, but really at the end of the day, what I found was that my telling somebody else what their purpose is or was, was not nearly as meaningful or more importantly, motivating as them figuring that out for themselves. I've come to the conclusion that we, as spiritual people, should not be asking such important questions of other people or externally. Instead, we really need to go within ourselves to find the answer because that's where it lives. Remember, we have a connection, a channel, a conduit to source energy and that channel is not severable. It is always there. It is always active. And if we use the channel or the conduit to ask the question of spirit, which is another way of saying God. And we ask, hey, what is my purpose? What do you want me to do? You better believe spirit is going to answer you. I can tell you, though, that if you feel inside of yourself that you came here to be of service to people or that you came here to do spiritual work, then that is absolutely true. That's what lightworkers feel. We feel this knowing within ourselves that we have specific talents and abilities that we're supposed to be using in order to change the lives of other people and also, by the way, to change our own lives. We know this. And if we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, then there's this weird, nagging sense of urgency that's always telling us that we're wasting our time. Like, why are you working in this nine to five job? Why are you hanging out with these people? You know you have a higher calling. Our spirit is always telling us that when we're light workers. And so based on what you've described, it's clear to me that you are a light worker. If I were you, I would not focus on the what. I would not focus on the how. I would focus on what I told you just a few minutes ago, on the spirit. I would focus on the meditation. I would focus on the prayer. I would focus on getting out into nature, which is so high vibration and a powerful place to channel or to receive creative inspiration. I would focus more on my connection to God and doing those things that I know connect me to God. Because when we are in connection, that's when doors start opening for us. That's when serendipity begins to happen. That's when synchronicity and patterns and people begin to enter our lives to make it easier for us to walk our path. And until such time, as you are really clear about what you're supposed to be doing in terms of work, then be a light worker in your day. Like, don't worry about doing it formally as work. Be a light worker in your day. Be a light worker at home. Love freely. Give 
freely. Be a light worker at the grocery store. Be a light worker in the parking lot. Be a light worker in traffic or at the coffee shop. Always be that which you seek to experience in this world. Hook into the higher vibration that we all have access to and learn how to run it in a sustained fashion and then just go outside. Go into a group of people. They're going to be changed by your vibration that you are sustaining. That's light work. And even though you don't necessarily know what the career is or the the physical work is, that's the actual work, is being a representative of that which created you in the first place. So don't get all caught up in needing to know things. Don't get all caught up in needing to have a path. If doors are being closed to you, say thank you, because these are not the doors that you're supposed to walk through in the first place. Have faith. Know that you came here with a blueprint and you came here with an intention and you will arrive at the work if you work on staying connected to source energy. I hope that answer helped you, Jamil. And if you have a question of a spiritual, metaphysical, or personal nature, don't forget, send it in to me at TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. And until next time when we meet again and I answer another of your questions, I hope that you are having an awesome day wherever you are on the planet today. Bye, guys. 